studious day. It is October 13th. My birthday's tomorrow. I love these new glasses. Let's go look at what the car progress is here at the um, Phoenix Rotting it's Custom. Only... Shrinking it and uh, you heat it and then you shrink it and it makes it stronger so that it doesn't wow. do that. Uh, yeah, Are there any other spots that. like that? Then? No, I think the, the rest of the thing's pretty solid. It was just real thin? It's she just, like yeah, I think it's, it's pretty thin metal on the doors. That's probably why it's so light. You know, they are bigger doors. I'm used to the smaller. Yeah, you know, the see how that's, that's like kind of easy to push in. Okay, but so it kind of kept that shape on the yeah, inside. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. So, yeah, what they do is they heat it and then cool it real quick and it shrinks up the metal so it yeah, stays yeah. in one position. Well, thanks yeah. for catching that. That's yeah. great. So, right here is the thin spot. Yeah, like right around here. Uh, is where they had to heat it. That's so cool. I mean, it's... Then, uh, yeah, so now it's like, it doesn't push in when you touch it. So... Yeah, last summer was a really slow season with getting any work done on these cars. So as the fall came around, it started to pick up and it became a very exciting time. Bruce is over here at Phoenix Rod and Custom getting a lot of body work done. And as we get closer and closer to paint day, I kind of kept myself busy with other things while I was checking in on them every once in a while. <laughs> We're taking a lot of inspiration from the earlier model years. This is a 57, notice those trunk handles. Can't really find those, so we had to settle for the earlier big airplane wing style, which is really cool. As the car was getting into the shop and a lot of the work was getting performed, we had to address a really big thing. The front grille. I have always enjoyed those B16 grills. Only problem is, those B18 fronts are the only ones that you can really find now, and the B16 fronts are like hen's teeth. You can see the gaps there. My shop didn't want to make a set because it was going to be terrible, so I was really fortunate to find some. Now, there's a little bit of patchwork here on the bottom. I had to replace that whole lower wing section. There's a little bit of rust hiding, if you remember, from season one. Also, got an emblem here from Sweden. It was really cool to find one of those and keep it a little more original and early year status. This car sat outside at the old shop and it developed a lot of surface rust, so a couple hours were spent just grinding that out. So that way we could replace the floor pieces and we didn't have to do full pans, they could just do patches. I was appreciative of that, a little bit cheaper, so everybody's happy. You might recall from earlier videos, the cracks that are on the inside, close to the firewall on either inner fender well, those are something we really needed to take care of right on this car. On Arthur, I didn't make plates, I just welded the cracks and they broke again. You can see any variety of plate here, like 16 or 18 gauge steel, will really help solidify that. This is the technical service bulletin, I found it online, and you can take screenshots of this or just draw it out for yourself. It's very simple, very easy, and everything helps. Of course, from the back side, you also want to weld up the cracks in addition to the plate. And I think those three little holes there um, that are kind of in that triangle shape really help to keep that in one solid piece. In later years, Volvo basically took care of the problem themselves. So I think 67 and 68 already has plates installed from the factory. They figured it out. This B16 front, so cool, all the way from the UK. There is a reason this was such a great bargain, although unbeknownst to the seller, there's just a lot of damage on it. Howdy. Hey. How you doing? Uh, I guess I'm great. Oh, good. Okay. Oh, thanks, <laughs> We straightened up the old B18 front, so it's pretty much, you know, just like a, an extra spare, whatever, it's for sale, doesn't matter. This B16 front, it's really cool. The grills are hefty, so they really need those extra brackets to mount them all around. These are the photos I received before purchasing it. It looked like it had some patchwork done on the sides. So you just couldn't really tell until you finally start getting in through the Bondo. 
just how much work and damage this thing had experienced. You can see all the rust holes there after we ground out a lot of Bondo, probably a half inch thick in some spots. So my guys, they weren't really happy with that, but they worked their magic and eventually we got this panel to fit good as new. See, they had this all filled out. Oh, nice. Yeah, see this one, crap. You just gotta fool with it. Yeah, a little bit of a twist, right? Okay, there's our color. You know, this is unweathered here. It's like a gray blue. It's not quite midnight blue. It'll look nice with the two-tone. However, very different shade from the blue that comes on there. The new midnight blue. I need to look up some photos. Alrighty, a couple days from Thanksgiving, got the kiddo with me again. You're just getting in all kinds of trouble. This piece is ready to take home. There. Yep, that looks pretty good. The car's getting steadily primed. That's a trip. Whoa. Hey, no, no, no. Jocelyn. Look how look how dusty you are. You, you got dust all over yourself. <laughs> I should be one to talk, look at me. All right. Um, yeah, slowly but surely. You know, you can see this whole back panel was replaced. There's the, the brass, the brazing that they did. Kind of like a solder. These bumper mounts are weird, man. Look, there's washers on this one, and this one's pinched shut, and they fit perfectly, so whatever. Whatever they did, it worked. Kiddo, that ain't yours. Come on now. You gotta, you gotta shoot your eye out. You're getting bored, I can tell. Okay, let's do a quick look in here. A lot of brazing there. We've got ourselves a new floor piece as well. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Mmm, tasties. Look at this fender. Look at that fitment. Ooh. Well, that's lovely. Yep. Oh, careful with that now. That's... He's using that. Is it sharp? Yeah, it's more for taking up paint and stuff. Check out our front. It looks nice. You have to do hours and hours of work on it and basically skin it and hammer it and twist it and heat it and shrink it. Now clap your hands together. Yeah. All right. I think we're ready to go, kiddo. Eighteen gauge. Couldn't find sixteen, but that should hold up pretty well. It's been welded nice and tight. And the welds on the inside. Hey, ma. Are these drunk making me look glasses? <laughs> Fun to spend time with the nieces, but it's time to head back to California. Boom! it already our color combination is midnight blue which is number 31 with a gray beige rooftop number 22 add those together and it becomes color code 35 which is really hard for you to find because it's not enough digits to fit in any catalog you're just like what number do you need 31 crazy days <laughs> no we really only took christmas day off other than that yeah. we were here yeah uh, we were here new year's day and I was actually, I was doing the jams on this on New Year's Day. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, you know, when I when we sprayed out that color, I was like, man, I don't know. I think it was supposed to be whiter, and then it was like, and then when we put it on there, I was like, cool. But yeah. We'll see, and then I thought it was supposed to be more beige, and we were all kind of like, yeah. I, we don't know. I was like, man, this is the color that he gave me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we still got to do a little bit, because when we masked it, when we shot the engine bay, we did, we masked everything up there. 
And then when we shot the car, we did that, so we still got to do a little bit of touch up in here. Okay. Uh, the body. But I still got paint for the body, so we'll just dust the body color in there. Awesome. Outside of that, all the painting's done, man. Wow, that's beautiful. So. It's funny that I showed up because they didn't actually call me. I just happened to be here at the right time to help them find some stuff. Let me show you something. You gotta put a little bit of sealer here in the corners. You know, some people can go crazy all around, but I'm. this is the, uh, the leak area. I might just do the top ones too. Yeah. I'm amazed that there's actually professionals out there that can still rope in a windshield with the stainless steel trim and it looks beautiful. And this guy was so nice. So I'm definitely gonna be hiring him for the other things. Have you ever seen something so beautiful you just want to destroy it, like a red-headed ginger stepchild? It's just one of those things. You, it's like you're so you look so nice. I just I don't want you to exist. You know I I can't. Well, the easy part is over, and that's letting somebody else do all the work for me. I'm basically at the point now where I've got to get back into gear with restoring everything. There's going to be a ton of videos for season three, so that's coming up soon. But let's check in with Genevieve next week and see just how she's doing once she's been painted. A little bit of drama there, stay tuned. Thanks for watching, smash the subscribe button. More quality content coming up and I love hearing from you guys, so please write a comment, let me know what you think. Cheers. Oh, it's so smooth. Oh, it's, oh, it feels so good. It's so brand new, like glass. Oh, it feels nice. It's so shiny. I love shiny. I don't deserve you.